Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online and welcome back also to Jita, the largest trade hub in EVE Online. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the upcoming proving grounds and if they have an impact on the market again. Uh, it is definitely going to be different from the last time. I actually have the dev block open on a different screen and something that I hadn't noticed before is that we will have limits on the fittings and even the implants this time. So uh, from the 21st to the 25th of August we will have a two versus two battle cruiser event so we're talking tick one battle cruisers but the fittings are limited to meta 5 which means tick two modules no faction no dead space no officers or even abyssal modules which I mean sometimes they are not necessarily that much stronger but in extreme cases of course they can be uh, super super effective and after that uh, it also says pirate implants are also restricted very interesting to see see that uh, after that uh, from the 28th of August to the 1st of September they're planning a 5 versus 5 Corvette uh, proving grounds interesting uh, you would think it's like super accessible because it's only corvettes it costs basically nothing but it is five versus five that does mean that you basically need to find four people to get into a fleet before you can uh, join that proving ground which takes away from the super accessibility personally not that interested in corvettes they don't feel like uh, part of the um real uh creation and destruction in eve online because they're just you know created out of thin air potentially whenever you dock uh in a pot in in, in a station um so yeah i'm not i'm not that much for that one uh but there's a limit uh, to meta 4 so tick one and named modules no tick two faction dead space officer or abyssal modules which is of course very restrictive definitely aimed at newer players and uh, at newer players that actually have already found a small group to play with apparently Currently. And then uh, for the third one that's been announced from the 4th of to the 8th of September, we actually have a mixed bag, the Kaldari Union Day 2, 2 versus 2, with faction frigates, interceptors and destroyers. And this one will also be limited to Meta 5, uh, so Tech 2 fittings and uh, restrictions on the pirate implants. I think that this is very interesting, CCP actually sort of acknowledging that in the first proving grounds when it was the cruisers, uh, that uh, things got out of hand a little bit with uh, being able to just out uh, invest your opponents by such a wide margin at some point that uh, it became a little uh, one-sided and really not that much fun for those on the receiving ends uh, of those teams of course uh, I think the free for all that's one that I actually joined I enjoyed it did a couple in uh, the destroyers very accessible uh, adding like a limit to uh, take two fittings and I think that can just keep rolling and keep going uh, so I do feel like eventually a free for all um, uh, some some sort of of a free for all, perhaps a one versus one um, uh, proving ground that could con run continuously is perhaps an option. Uh, but we of course don't have all of the metrics. And what I'm basically seeing here is CCP. Uh, exploring the proving grounds more this time adding in a limit uh, everything in fleets though so everything is for groups at this point and they're just you know testing uh, the waters seeing what sticks seeing what the player base enjoys and what they uh, didn't and uh, perhaps also uh, of course uh, focusing this time a little bit on um, groups because well a free for all a one versus one you know that's going to be very popular because of how accessible it is and so perhaps they're trying to find other formats that uh, can be interesting with not necessarily pull a lot of players out of the sandbox pvp scene either so impact on the market let's uh, go take a look at those battle cruisers first of all and uh, this is basically why i thought this was interesting if i'm not mistaken i'm gonna take a quick peek here we got drake ferox naga so that should be all of these kaldari ones yep so that ought to be basically all take one battle cruisers can be flown there there's definitely big differences especially with stuff like the oracle oversized gun um, that, uh, that that's probably going to be very popular. But what do I notice here? Nary a move on the Harbinger. Still stuck below 60 million is Now the one year move up is pretty impressive. But you can tell from the timing here. This is due to the minerals. This has absolutely nothing to do with the proving grounds. Then we've got the Oracle. We do have a bit of a volume spike here. But price wise this is very reasonable. Staying below 90 million is No, uh, Not even a one year high point 
not even close to that so this really does mean that uh, for the amar one so far nothing too special then we do have the prophecy that was a pretty big volume spike a couple of days ago uh when this was announced a bit of a price reaction but where are we selling them at now 65 million availability is not that great but this is completely not crazy this is affordable this is still doable uh, so basically if you want to get ready for that uh, battleground you definitely want to consider going for it right now then we've got the Drake. Um, what I'm noticing here, no real volume spike. I think the Drake is just really available. It is. And you've got people selling these for 56 million isk already. So although we just come from a one year high point, considering the volumes, I'm going to say that this is not due to uh, the proving grounds that were announced, but that this is due to just the mineral prices going up in general. And so we have very expensive Drakes at the moment and there's some extra selling happening. So this should be absolutely fine as well ferox had a bit of a volume spike but again price wise nothing too crazy naga this is what what is noticeable though uh, those that were actually low the naga was below uh, 60 million is here have a volume spike and have a little bit of a correction in the price as well but nothing too major then one that i do think will be very popular is the brudix you can see the volumes go up as well price wise we started off at around uh, 53 million isk and right now we're selling at 62 million availability has gone down substantially but none of this feels completely crazy either after that we've got the myrmidon same pattern and not even a volume spike during the announcement so this is just a bit of a some dumping that's probably happened here just general market activity uh, that makes them relatively expensive on this one year chart but the announcement from ccp for a two versus two proving grounds in the battle cruisers does not seem to have a big impact on the market and i'm kind of thinking does this mean that the battle cruisers are like a, a little bit of a step too high for really the general population to say all right i'm going to join that one in i'm going to play lots and lots of these proving grounds uh, well it is 60 80 million uh, for uh, for some of these battle cruisers that can become very expensive very quickly um, and as a result I'm, I'm reading this as a little bit less popular uh, than than the cruisers the destroyers the frigates which of course you know it's all about accessibility and that shows that well if you want to still prepare for the, those proving grounds you can definitely still buy those battle cruisers right now you should be uh, able to get them at a reasonable price at the moment uh, after that we had of course the corvettes no need to go take a look at those and then we have uh, the kaldari union day so we have uh frigates which is going to be griffin navy issue so faction frigates and then we have the griffin navy issue let's see what we got here all right we do obviously have a volume uh, increase people that bought like two months ago for 7.5 million is will be very happy to now be able to sell for double the price availability has gone down uh, but it's not even a one-year high point yet so that is apparently not going to be that popular at this point uh, what else do we have in the list here? Oh, Kaldari Navy Hookbill. That could, of course, be uh, a bit uh, more, but no. Nope. Look at that. Not even that big in volumes. And then going up above 10 million is, but it's not really super special. Uh, and after that, we have Raptor and Crow. So that's going to be our interceptors. You can fly those as well. Uh, interceptors, I'm not sure if. Uh, anyone is going to use that when you actually have cormorants and coraxes in there and apparently yeah, the market is just saying nope price is going down uh, after this announcement which is kind of crazy and then the raptor did know a little bit of a spike right here but how far away from 20 million are we well 23.6 million looks like some people may have uh, maybe re reading some raptors for those proving grounds uh, but yeah cormorant and corax i think those will have recovered from the last one and this just may again not really show so this is the last proving grounds with the destroyers you can see the massive price here when it was active lots of people buying them flying them using and losing them which is of course great for the economy but look at how strong uh, our industrial backbone is right back down to a million isk and it is still basically there 1.3 million a bit more expensive but not by too much and then the cormorant still pretty um pretty reasonable as well currently selling for 1.2 million so i would say that i've 
find this very interesting after basically the first announcements for these proofing grounds and decently large waves i'm going to say uh, through the market in the specific ship types that were flown there we now have a set of three that seem to well have maybe spurred a little bit of buying but nothing unreasonable uh, prices have not gone crazy and uh, this despite the fact that uh, this time ccp is also putting in these limits on fits and on implants which should I think from a, a com more competitive standpoint make these proving grounds feel a bit more fair uh, than uh, than some of the previous ones but although you know I like the the chaos of of the free for all uh, that was definitely my preferred one so far so uh, as I've said I think here CCP is uh, basically still testing the waters a little bit seeing what sticks these don't think are gonna be as popular as the previous ones perhaps in line with expectations as well of course Bella Cruiser, definitely a big step up from the others Corvettes but you have to get five people together might also not be uh, and and you know not doesn't feel too meaningful to me personally I'm not I don't feel like making videos flying Corvettes around that just doesn't make that much sense to me personally uh, and then a, a Caldari themed one that one could actually be interesting um, although I personally feel that you're, you'll very quickly get uh, the meta like if the uh, destroyers are just too strong for all of these um, these frigates that's it you'll just see uh, destroyers uh, flown in that in that proving ground and I, I fear that uh, you know it'll be figured out before it's even launched but we'll see how it works out so far you know, CCP is uh, still experimenting with the proving grounds but it looks like the market and industry opportunities for uh, the next three seem, uh, are uh, quite a bit more limited and that's gonna be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and as always I'll see you next time